Good morning everyone, it's Hyped Hazard here. I don't know what that was, other shit. Good morning everyone, Hyped Hazard here. Right, it is very early in the morning. We're talking like what, 6 a.m. I think. We're, we've got all our stuff ready. Car is like five minutes away downstairs. We are inches close to starting the, the nine hour road trip, I think, from here all the way to our new house in London. So fingers crossed there's no car accidents because like the driver so sleep deprived. What do you think, Muffin? You excited? You ready? No, I think he hates me because he has to stay in a cage for like three hours. <gasps> Papa, hello, are you excited? Why are they all leaving me? It is now 10 o'clock-ish uh, in the morning is the car park. Oh, I just need a bit of a, a stretch for driving for so long. Now, the reason we've stopped in the middle of nowhere is literally just for the vlog. Because, apart from the windmills and the traffic, there's something quite cool. Boom! Now, uh, that says Nederland, but it's actually Netherlands. That's right. One step, two step, three step, four step, and I'm in the Netherlands. So, I'm gonna have to do the same again in Belgium. I don't know. And then the same again in France. Fuck. Okay, they get really annoyed when I say, guys, 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 quick, stop the car! And I'm gonna do it for the vlog. But look, it's a perfect place to stop for the vlog. Okay, now like uh, five more hours, fun. So we're in a uh, Netherlands petrol station. I don't know, just to fill up. Uh, also we need water because apparently the water I made us is tasting like dish soap. So, okay, fine, whatever. Buy fresh water, see if I care. But also you'll notice no mask. In Netherlands, you don't have to wear a mask in, in shops. So you can literally just like drive 10 minutes and you get kicked out if you don't wear a mask. But here, no one's wearing a mask. So apparently Corona doesn't uh, cross the border, I guess, but oh well. I've already had a nap, but Monster should be able to keep me awake from now on. Driver, are you tired? I was, but maybe the... Why? I'm just making sure. I don't want you to like crash the car. Yeah, maybe. Maybe? We're down by the side of the road here. Uh, not because I need a piss, which I kind of do, but I don't know, it's a bit weird. Uh, but because the engine is overheated. Probably because our car is filled with a load of junk like pianos and cats. It's literally too hot. So we've had to stop because the car literally won't start. And I'm the, uh, the guy of the group. So they said, Harry, you fix it. So I just went out, opened up the hood. They were expecting steam to run into my face and I was going to... Ah! <laughs> but, but it was nothing. It's just a warm engine, which I expected from an engine, you know? So nothing out of the ordinary really i said guys don't worry it's fine although i did watch a youtube tutorial on how to open up the hood because there's like a button on the side of the car the worst tutorial ever ford you gotta sort your shit out okay i'm here in the middle of nowhere well netherlands but you gotta sort your shit because that tutorial was about 15 minutes long and it took about 10 minutes to tell me to open up the hood okay i'm starving i want to get to belgium and eat my waffles <sighs> but yeah give it 10 minutes it should be fine Harry the mechanic is knows what he's doing. So it worked for about five minutes and now it's back to being broken again. So we're fucked, really. Um, we're gonna call the, the rental car place because uh, Hyped Hazard the mechanic thinks it's just this thing here. It's empty, it's the coolant. It cools the engine and it's out. It's out of cooling stuff, so yeah, I don't know, I'm not a car guy. Tesla wouldn't have this problem, okay? I keep telling people. Uh, but yeah, we're fucked. Um, and the problem is we're gonna miss the boat to England. We're gonna get, we're gonna get to France, we're gonna get in and then get the boat. If we miss that, we're like truly fucked. Like this isn't just a problem like, oh no, let's call a tow truck. Like we don't have time to get a tow truck to take us to some car garage and go, no, it's this one. We just wanna go, but we can't. We're, we're truly, truly fucked. Unless Enterprise, the company, says, uh, yeah, you can just fix it by going boop, and then we go boop, and then we win. But who the fuck knows? You see that tiny thing there that's holed up with like a piece of metal? That 
in this windy ass weather and all these trucks is the only thing that's keeping us safe apparently because at this point if we don't have this and it blows away and the police come then we get arrested but we've been told to stay out the car which is a little bit scary and we're only like fucking what a meter and a half away from it. I feel like we're trying to avoid COVID-19 from the thing. But apparently, uh, I mean, it probably won't explode, but you never know. But some guy is coming to fix it. You're not in the vlog, chillax, okay? You'll be bad for the image. You just want this. All right, so it's quieter in here. Um, basically, we called up the guy again and he was like, oh yeah, uh, it's gonna be another hour. By the way, we've already waited an hour and a half for this guy and it's now going to be another hour and apparently we're not allowed to wait in the car because of health and safety and we have to wait behind the, the metal barrier. I'm not happy, okay? Stupid Amsterdam was meant to be like the first step and then we're there, but at this rate, no, we've completely missed the ferry. We're going to have to get a later one. I'm annoyed. Cats are annoyed. It's not good. I'm a little bit concerned because this entire time the, the lights have been on, the blink has been on because apparently, again, health and safety. And I feel like if the engine has overheated, the battery is going to die and we're going to need more coolant. We're going to need a new engine. We'll just get a whole fucking car. Let's change the whole damn car. All right, this is a disaster of a trip. Now, I've been practicing this, okay? You ready? For my Dutch audience, I have something to say. Vasek Tenok. Yeah, I said that right. So we've seen this little, this little guy here who's flashing his lights just like a little bit too far away. We were, we had our hopes so high and now we decided, now nah, fuck that, I'm gonna park up there. I was getting ready to film because yay, he's coming to save us and then he just stops there for no reason. Maybe someone else broke down down there. You wanna go and ask? Oh well, we're both fucked. Okay, never mind, there's another van. They're getting slowly closer by each parking thing. They are. Because we're important. Someone watch my Instagram story, please. We need help. Whoop, whoop. Okay, so I don't know if you can see, but we're up the ramp now. And it's because of Corona. Corona? Normally we would sit with him in the front, but he's like, I don't want to sit with you. Well, that's a bit rude. <laughs> so you're probably thinking, hooray, we made it. The Enterprise people came and come to fix us. This isn't the Enterprise people. This is some waterworks people that came and said, you're blocking the pipe. And they're taking us to a pit stop like... I don't know, um, like 10 meters, they said it's right around the corner. Uh, they're taking us down there and then just leaving us there. And then the Enterprise is going to come there and fix us. Like, oh god, we're moving. This is so weird. I don't think you can see that we're like super high up. Muffin's fine. My oh, god. I mean, I'm loving it. This is so cool. I feel like we're flying. I tried to open the window, but I just remembered the car's off. We're not actually moving. This is, this is so weird. And you can't, you can't tell at all, but we, we are, we're really high off the ground. It feels like, I don't know, we feel like we're on a double-decker bus. Okay, so this is where we've been dropped off, outside a petrol station. Might have to get another monster at this rate. Uh, although, I'm a bit hyped from just riding above the uh, the car. Yeah. The truck, the road, you always riding above. I don't know. Point is, we're still waiting for the Enterprise people, but because we've got the hood up and, you know, got the flashing lights and shit here, some random guy has come and is on the phone with the Enterprise going, no, I don't need to come, mate, just need some water. That's all we needed. We just need to fill the, the tank with water. We called them up and they're like, no, 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 you need coolant. We're going to bring it to you. And I don't know. I mean, this guy seems to know what he's doing. Also, he's already filled it up with a watering can. So if he doesn't know what he's doing, we're fucked. Yeah, it, uh, it happened again. I mean, I'm real sick of walking alongside the road. Fucking hate Europe. Although I'm really sick and tired of breaking down, being in the front of the truck is pretty cool, especially because they've got this hatch, which 
which I'm pretty sure is like a limo where you can like open it up and poke your head up. I'm half tempted to ask, I'm half tempted to just ask and then jump out and just end this pain and misery. I thought this was going to be an awesome road trip vlog. It's not. It's a vlog of frustration and pain. Well, there goes our car in this, I don't know, repair place. We genuinely don't know where we are. <laughs> They're arguing in German. This is an actual disaster. We can't even call Enterprise. They're not even answering. They've taken us to this random scrap heap going, yeah, yeah, call Enterprise and get another car. How can we get another car if they're not answering? We called them once and like, yeah, yeah, we'll send you another car because this one's clearly broken. Send it here. And now they're not answering the phone. We are so far. We've missed. We've missed the... We were going to get a four o'clock ferry. Missed that. Go to the eight. Now we've missed the eight. Go into the ten o'clock. It's a complete disaster. If we miss this 10 o'clock, we have to go at midnight. Midnight into London. We're going to get home. <gasps> We're going to get home at like 4 a.m. This is, this is stupid. I hate this so much. All of our stuff is in that car. We have to try and find out where it's being parked. I don't know. It's gone. And then just stand here, I guess, some more. Man, this sucks. We need to get our bags, head inside. They, they said we can go into this, I don't know, thing, reception. I think it's a old cafe that's closed down Ugh. so yeah i'll try and steal a, a cup of coffee or something but so far this this road trip is zero out of ten but i did make a cool like a cool thing i don't know i'm, I'm sick of this it's nine o'clock at night we should be right now at the house in london we're not we are still at that that truck place where we got dropped off. You know why? Well, because Enterprise, they dropped us off in the, in the tow truck and we're like, yeah, don't worry, we'll send you a new car to just swap cars, basically. And well, that didn't happen. I am a lost boy from Neverland Usually hanging out with Peter Pan Help! I need somebody Help! Not just anybody